Chapter six, linear functions. Let's start this off with 6.1, slope of a line. Now we've worked with slope some before, and we're gonna continue working on it quite heavily in this chapter, especially in this section. Now remember, the letter for slope, we use M, and basically, slope is rise over run. We can write that lots of different ways. We can say, delta y over delta x, so how much the y changes compared to how much the x changes. There's another formula you're, quite, you're going to use quite a bit, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we're going to use that one as well. Let's go through this section and get some practice working with slope of a line. First type of question you're going to have to solve is, finding the slope of a line. So here I've got a line graphed, and I want to know what that slope is. To calculate that slope, I'm going to look for two points that hit the grid perfectly. Now I can go with A and B, because they do hit it perfectly, but if I look around a little bit, I might find it a little bit easier if I go right there. I've got some points in close in between, that makes it a little easier to work with. So I'm going to work with A and this point right here. Now remember, slope equals rise over run. So let's take those two points that I selected and let's do our rise first. There's my rise. Then we're going to do our run. Give me our run right there. I've got to put some numbers in there. Our rise is one, two, three units, now it goes up, so that's a plus three. Now our run is one, two, three, four, five, that's going to be plus five. Our slope equals three over five. That's the slope of our line. Let's do that again. Let's find the slope. Remember slope equals rise over run. I'm going to start on the left. I'm going to use C and D. I'm going to use the outside points this time. Go starting from the left. We actually have to go down to get to our other point. And there's my run. My rise, since it goes down, is going to be negative, And it goes down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. My rise is negative 10. And my run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My run is five. Let's put that into our equation. Rise is negative 10, run is five. If I look, I can divide five into both of those. If I end up with a slope that equals minus two over one. Now I don't need that one on the bottom because it is a one on the bottom, so my slope equals negative two. Remember, the slope is going down and to the right, so as soon as it's down, you've got a negative slope because it's decreasing. Let's do another question. Slope equals rise over run. Let's draw in our triangle. Now remember from the last one, because I didn't pick the smallest triangle I could, I had to simplify. If on this one I pick the smallest triangle I can, for instance right there, and right there, I may not have to simplify the fraction at all. So we've got a rise, we've got a run, and a rise, it goes up three, and my run, it goes over two. M equals three over two. One more example. I'm going to pick this point and this one over here, so in order to do my rise, it actually has to go down, and my run is going over three. So my rise, so my rise is minus one, and my run is plus three. M equals rise over run. So in this case, M, my rise is minus one, my run is three. That's, that is in simplest terms, my slope is negative one-third. Another type of question you're going to come across regularly 
is asking you to draw a line segment with a given slope. So here I've got a slope, and it's asking me to draw a line segment with that slope. So let's just remember that slope equals rise over run. Now it doesn't say anything about where you need to start. All it talks about is it has to have that slope. So let's just pick a point. So if I'm going to just pick this point right here at random, I need a rise of seven. So I'm going to go up seven. Okay, up to there. Now that point up at the top there, that's not where my line is ending. It's just the rise. So now let's do the run, which is going to be five. And that's my second point. So when I go to draw my line, I'm going to pull out a ruler. And yes, I insist to use a ruler for these. Line it up. And let's put our line in. I'm going to put arrows on the end of your line. There's my line with slope 7 fifths. Now let's do the same thing with this other one, which is also rise over run. But this negative 3 eighths is negative, so we're going to have a decreasing slope. Now what I like to do, I like to rewrite it, instead of having that negative sign out front, I'm going to attach it to the top number. So we're going to have a rise of negative 3 and a run of 8. Let's pick a point again at random. Let's pick this point right here. We're going to have a rise of negative 3, so I'm going to go down 3. There's my negative 3, and I'm going to have a run of 8. all the way to the outside edge there. Barely left myself enough space. There's my run of eight. I've got my two points. Once again, this corner doesn't matter. Let's grab a ruler and draw our line. Line it up nice. And don't forget to put your arrows on the end because that does continue forever in both directions. There's my line with slope of negative 3 eighths. Now for good measure, let's do two more. Once again, rise over run. I'm going to pick a point. Let's pick this point right here. I've got a rise of four, so I'm gonna go up four. I've got a run of nine. Take me over there. There's my run of nine. Pull out my ruler. And I can draw my line. Put an arrow on each end. There is my M equals 4 ninths line. Last one. Rise over run. Don't forget to put that negative on the top number. So negative 8 over 3. It doesn't apply to both. When we're drawing this, it's top number only. I'm going to pick this point right here to start with. I've got a rise of negative 8, so I'm going to go down 2, 4, 6, 8. There's my negative 8. Negative means it's going down. Run a 3. Three. There's my two points. Let's grab a ruler. Put it on those points. And draw our straight line. And our Put arrows on the end of our line to show that it goes on forever. There's our m equals negative eight thirds line. 